Well, hey there, it's me, Gazbot. And you know what that means, it's time for another toy shot. That's right, give me one more. Yeah, toy shot. Um, so today I have three things I wanna show you. Uh, it's a very Power Ranger slash Super Sentai heavy episode. So if you're not into that, this might not be the episode for you. Um, but let's start in with our first item. What is it? It is this. This is a set of Ranger keys. Uh, this is the Japanese ones, so these are Gokaiger keys, legendary Ranger keys, and this is Bokenger, which in America is known as Operation Overdrive, which is the Big Dog's favorite Power Ranger season. Uh, I've never seen the Sentai, I've only seen a few of the American Power Ranger. Uh, it's not my favorite, it's, it's, uh, it's alright, but I haven't gotten too far into it, but I'm trying to collect as many Ranger keys as I can. I have all of the American, with uh, one or two exceptions, and the Japanese not as much. They're a lot harder to get, they're a lot more expensive, but they are fun. They're nice and big and chunky. Now, this set I got for, uh, I believe, $28. Yes, $28. Uh, and this is in January of 2016. I'm actually filming this in February, but I bought it last month. Um, this was previously cheaper. I think I remember seeing it for 15 or 20. A lot of these sets, the DX sets as they're called, because they're fully painted and they come usually as a whole team, as opposed to the gosh pond or the candy toys, which have some stickers uh, as part of them. These team sets some are still available relatively cheap. This was 28. Uh, I got a Super Mega Force known as Gosager. Uh, I think I paid 20 for that. Some others, which used to be the same price, are now going for 40, 50, or more. Uh, so I wasn't in a hurry to get this, but when I saw the prices going up, this was this is currently the cheapest one that I don't own, so I bought it. All the others are in the $40 range, which is more than I really want to spend. So if you're into Ranger Keys at all, or if you think you might want to get a set of Japanese ones, I urge you to look on eBay, look on Amazon, look at you know your middleman reseller, uh, and pick up the cheaper sets now uh, while you could still afford them, because it looks like they're all going up all of a sudden. I mean, time passes, so that's what happens, but it surprised me. I, I wish I had picked up more when they were cheaper, because now, you know. But anyway, I got Bo Kendra. Now, here's the thing about this. The uh, seller I bought it from, I bought it from Amazon, but it was, you know, they have different sellers on Amazon, uh, was uh, Kiseki Komori 88 was the name. Uh, and I recommend them because it came in good shape and quick time and everything, but also they included in it this little thing. It's a, a flyer for the movie of the crossover of Tokuger and uh, Ninja, which are the two most recent, and it's got a little thing to color on the back, and it's just like a giveaway you probably got at the movie or at a you know a toy store or something. But it's fun, you know, because I couldn't have got this a little Japanese thing, and even better, a loose free Ranger key. And this is DX. This is Shinken uh, Momo, Shinken Pink, uh, which is Samurai Pink, and uh, it's in good shape. It's not scratched up or anything. I mean, and it's free, you know. So unfortunately, I already have this set, so it's a duplicate for me. But I could trade it or sell it or whatever. But it's you know a free little flyer and a thing that that's good customer service. It wasn't advertised as part of the deal. I didn't request it. It just sort of showed up that way. Uh, and a lot of Japanese sellers, I'll often get a little handwritten note or a piece of candy or something. But that went a little above and beyond, which is nice. Okay, so. Moving on, the next thing I got is this. What is this? Well, this is an SH Figure Arts from Bandai. Uh, it was, I bought it seemingly new. This is Deca Red. Now, Deca Red is the leader of the Sentai team Deca Ranger, which in America was SPD. Uh, so he's not a particular favorite of mine, although I really like this figure. The main reason I wanted it was because it comes with an extra piece. And the extra piece are these gigantic handcuffs. This uh, is from a show called Akiba Ranger, which is a Japanese Sentai with no American counterpart as of yet. And it was sort of more for adults um, that were fans of Sentai and Power Rangers. It was a parody comedy. And in it, they had guest stars like Decca Red would show up and give powers to the main character that would be called outrageous. And they'd be like exaggerated, goofy versions of the power. So this was sort of like a space cop team. So it was this gigantic, you know, handcuff piece. So I wanted this piece. The figure, after I got it, ended up being really nice. It's very slim and it's you know kind of a standard Power Ranger but it comes with dual pistols and you know a little different than the other ones I had so I'm actually pretty happy I got it uh, even though I have not seen the show and I've only seen this character on the parody show Akiba Ranger. However how this came about was uh, on one of my toy boards on uh, Facebook. Uh, I forget which one it was exactly. It might have been Ranger Store. 
uh, there was somebody selling one used for, I believe, $36. And I was interested, and I was like, oh, does it come with the Akiba part? Yes, it does. Do you want it? And I'm like, I don't know, maybe. And I looked online, and I was like, you know, for $36, I could get it new. So this isn't really much of a deal. Usually uh, on those boards, you, you save a little bit of money because we're all collectors. We're trying to help each other out. Or at the very least, they don't have to give eBay fees, or they could save on shipping. Or, you know, there's usually end up getting a little bit of a better price. So the fact that it was for sale new for the same price they were selling it used. I was like, well, let me just get it new. So I went on Amazon, got it from the seller, and it came, and if you look, I, I just got this. I've barely done anything with it. I don't know how you could tell how bad you could tell it is here, but there's like wear on the box. And the tape had been cut and there was a new piece of tape put on it. When I opened it up, most of these figures have like a little plastic bib to protect the paint when it's shipping. That bib was removed. Now, the figure itself has tight joints. It's in perfect condition, has all its accessories. It was probably owned by a collector who opened it up, put it on a shelf, and that was it. Somebody like me. Um, however, it's still used. And if I went to sell it, the damage to the box would hurt the value. And so I wrote to them and said, hey, look, I got this supposedly new and it's used. And I sent pictures and ex explained what I just explained. I said, I would like to send it back and get a new one, or I'm happy to keep it because the figure is in fine condition. I just don't feel I should have paid a new price for it. So maybe you can give me a partial discount. In less than a day, they wrote me back and gave me a $10 refund. So I got it used for $26. So it was excellent customer service. Um, and I'm actually kind of happy because since I opened them anyway, I'd almost rather have a good condition used and save $10. So for $26, this was a very good deal uh, and I was very happy with it. Uh, the only downside is this is one of the few Sentai teams where they have the whole base team of five and now I'm tempted to get the rest of it. <laughs> All right, so the last one for today was another, um, well, not another, but I got it from a board on Facebook, a toy collecting group. Uh, I forget if it was Ranger Store, it might have been Angel's Geeks, there's a few I'm a part of. Uh, unlike that one, uh, I did like the price on this one and I bought it, so I'll go ahead and show you. It's many things, actually. <laughs> what is it? It is a set of six of the 90s movie Power Rangers Mighty Morphin in metallic. So it's the entire team, including White, which is Tommy, they're all in perfect condition. The chrome is not damaged. They come with their weapons, which for most of them is just the gun. Tommy gets the sword, Saba. And all but one of the power coins. The, these were coins, the metallic, that came with each figure. You can see. And this white one is for Tommy. It's the tiger zord, but you can tell it's American only, and it's like this weird cat. <laughs> but anyway, I got the whole set. And I had been sort of wanting to get this set already. So I had actually a white Tommy and a pink, I guess a uh, yellow at this time was Aisha. And I paid about 20 bucks each, roughly. They were in the package. So this set I got for $65, which is about $10 each and $5 for shipping. So it's about half price since they're out of the package, which is about fair. But the main advantage is getting the whole thing at once, and I already sold my extra uh, Aisha to the big dog, and I have a packaged White Ranger, which I'll probably just put on eBay or sell in one of the groups or something, since I opened them anyway. Um, but these were adult-owned and collected, so these chrome figures, which I'm a big fan of the chrome, often will have scratches and nicks and stuff. These are all flawless. They were advertised as such, and true to the word, they were. Um, they all have their accessories, and I'm only missing one power coin. And honestly, I'm not that concerned about the power coins. I have yellow, but it's just not on the table right now. Uh, because I don't have, uh, they would fit into the original vintage morpher, which I don't have. And, you know, maybe I'll display them with them, otherwise I'll just throw them in a bag. I'm not that concerned. Uh, the idea of getting these loose, but in perfect condition, is the ideal for me. And the fact that I was able to get them loose in perfect condition, all of them at once, was the deal, the money deal was pretty good, but it was more the convenience deal that done, collection done, I got my whole set. Uh, and now I mentioned that these are from the movie, so they look like the traditional 90s Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, but this would have been when they were transitioning to get the Ninja Megazords and they had the movie. So on their chests, instead of having the dinosaurs, like the Triceratops or whatever, he has the wolf, as you can see. So they all have their ninja symbols on the chest, which I would have preferred, actually I would have preferred they had no symbol because that was never in the show, that was just a toy thing. But if they were gonna have it, you know, it might be nice to have the dinosaur, but being who I am, I also like the American only stuff. And so the idea that it has this wolf, that's something that never happened in Japan. They never had these suits and the Ninja Megazord. So these become very American. I mean, Tommy, of course, as well, because this was from Die Ranger, which was not on Zoo Ranger, which is what Power Rangers, blah, 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 blah. I got some shiny Power Rangers and I really like them. That's, that's the point there. 
So that's the end of that. I'll put up some pictures so you can see them better at the end as I usually do. And uh, I also just want to mention, I sometimes do reviews for myself, but I also sometimes do reviews for Collection DX. Uh, and I recently did a video review of the Ronin Boba Fett uh, from the movie Realization line, which is pretty awesome. I'll throw up a graphic here. And that's an in-depth review. It's not like these toy shots. It's like 40 minutes of me going over every excruciating detail. So if you have any interest in that, you could check it out. I'll put a link below. Uh, and if you don't have interest in that, I'll just see you next time for the next GazBots. Test, test.